teleworking is a team sport. The goal for workers that have the luxury of this practice is learning how to stay in the game. So there are ways to increase efficiency and productivity through peer accountability. Now I could have entitled this segment, Got Discipline? Because not everybody does. They could use tips on efficiency, scheduling productivity. What does a virtual workday look like in the absence of live coworkers? Working from home requires discipline and diligence. In the same way many students find it easier to study in the library, homebound professionals can replicate that community dynamic virtually. Welcome to the world of teleworking. Now, many people have been working from home for years. They describe the biggest challenge as maximizing concentration. Interestingly, and perhaps counterintuitively, many teleworkers find it easier to do all of what they need to do with others because peers function as professional accountability partners. Now you have to have the right virtual technology and you have to use the right location. In the same way a remote study plan might not work for a student living in a fraternity house, neither will it work for you unless you can find a quiet space at home to connect with your virtual colleagues. And then there are the perils of distraction. With so many other things you could be doing, from matching your socks to reordering your pantry items according to expiration dates, staying on task can be a challenge. Now many of these hurdles can be overcome through joining an online working group. So this is sort of a remote way to maintain your control. We'll call it the security of structure. Now many people have been doing this for years. They are lonely at home or they're unmotivated when they don't actually have to go to a physical office and they need some prodding to be able to get moving and get productive. So many of what these people are doing is joining not really study groups per se, but working groups, we'll call them. Virtual working groups where everybody's on there working together. They can see each other. Sometimes they can hear each other, maybe not if it distracts you. But the point is it provides accountability. And it also is a sense of camaraderie. Now, some of these groups even cost money. That's right, you pay to play. They log on at the beginning. There's usually a moderator. Sometimes they talk about what they're going to work on that day and what goals they want to see themselves accomplish. And then at the end, they debrief. Many of these kinds of groups are designed for workplace flexibility. And they work very well for those that use them. Unlike the set hours of a brick and mortar workplace, virtual work groups take place around the clock, allowing people to join one that involves a time block that works for them, that works for their schedule. Maybe you're most productive in the morning. Maybe you're a night owl and your best ideas come to you after you're done putting the children to bed. Whatever it is, there's a workplace group virtually that will meet your needs and your schedule. Maybe you're one of those people that hit a wall in the afternoon. Maybe that's the time that you need to tune in virtually. Whatever it is, if you can find that sweet spot, that flexibility will boost your productivity. There's also an element of bonding through joint attention. Now, ideally, you want to create a sense of connection with your virtual peers. Research has explored this issue offline, seeking to discover exactly how social bonding occurs. Now, apparently in the real world, there's coordination of movement that causes us to feel closer to each other. And that really is a good thing when it comes to fostering joint attention. Offline, joint attention fosters social closeness, which suggests that activities that allow us to feel this way may make us not only more productive, but may make us more cohesive as a group, even if it's a virtual group. Now, to capitalize on the fact that we're able to create joint attention offline, virtual platforms for meetings, although the people aren't seated in physical proximity, they increase the collaborative experience through joint attention, such as through screen sharing and other ways in which we can create focus on the same data. Teleworking is also team building. Virtual meetings throughout the day for teleworking employees can provide both structure and accountability by forcing them to behave as if they were in the office. 
deadlines prompt preparedness, particularly when teleworking employees are scheduled to give a report. In addition, unwilling to risk reputational damage by showing up in pajamas, teleworkers dress professionally for virtual meetings, at least from the waist up, as if they were physically present in the office. Knowing they are going to be literally facing their virtual peers and superiors, they're motivated to look their best. By incorporating incentive structure and accountability into the virtual workday, employees can perform efficiently on the clock from the comfort of home, for now.